Welcome to my channel. This is Trip. Hope you're having a nice day, and I invite you to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Today it's Hardy's Country Fried Steak Biscuit. Actually, it's kind of cold here today, and cold in this room, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to having some real, some real good food. See what else they gave me here. Okay. Don't want to be too noisy. They gave me some mustard. Well, I asked for it, okay. But I also have some spicy brown mustard here at the house that I got for emergencies and some pepper. I won't put them both on at the same time. It's a little napkin. Now well, that's nice. I prefer my color of napkins. And this cost two dollars and eighty nine cents. So thirsty. All right. Put it on our, put it on our plate here. at it. Don't need to cut this one up and do a cross section. It's basically just the, the little uh, steak biscuit. And by the way, at Hardy's biscuits are the most popular order. They sell more of them than anything else. They sold about nearly a quarter of a, of a billion last year. That's a quarter of a billion, 250 million. It's nearly one for everybody, every person in the United States. I'm gonna put some pepper on here first. On one side. Cheers. This is very crunchy. I've not had a steak biscuit in 30 or 40 years. I don't even remember. When I go to Hardy's, I went there once a month the last few years that I was working. And I'd always get a bacon, a plain bacon biscuit once a month. put a lot of pepper on things. It's very crunchy. This is the most wonderful biscuit on earth. And now it's 
time for some of the spicy mustard. Okay. Too much, but a pretty good bit too, as they say in the South. Not too much, but a pretty good bit too. And as usual, I clean my, my fingers every, after just about every bite it seems. Now it's going to be I see. Yes, it took a lot of willpower to go to a fast food place only one only one day a month. And it was either the Chick-fil-A, or I used to take my my, my daughter in, and she was in high school. On the Fridays, I can't remember if it was once a month or every week, to Chick-fil-A. I never went I never went to a lot of fast food places and, and had breakfast never before going to work. It's expensive and it's also unhealthy. say that you don't have time. Just get up a little earlier. And I always like to brush my teeth after every meal. I can't stand to feel dirty. Hmm. I taste this a little bit, but I think we need to add more this one time. Okay. Don't want to put a whole lot. This little steak is, <laughs> that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, why bother, right? But I don't want to kill the taste of the biscuit, or obviously the steak. You put a lot of hot sauces on things, it, it kills the taste. Oh, I taste it now. Please watch your money and your health. And 
In fact, I don't think I've had a steak biscuit in in 40 or 45 years since I was working my first job at the government as a as an auditor. And I traveled all the time, three weeks out of the three weeks out of the month in my in my twenties. And I would go to the Hardee's sometimes and you know, unless the motel had something where I was staying, something kinda cheap and decent. I go to Hardee's and I get a steak biscuit. And I remember in, in the middle of the steak biscuit when you when you get I think it was a steak biscuit you get to the center of it and it's like a real spicy taste like a lot of pepper in the middle and I noticed this every time that I had that I had the steak biscuit and I didn't taste it in this one and I know I know there aren't many people out there mage that watch they watch YouTube, much less my channel. I'd like to know if anybody remembered remembered that. It was almost like they put a little pepper right in the middle of the of the steak biscuit. And I used to wonder if it was my imagination, but it was every time I got. Was it the steak biscuit or was it the sausage biscuit? I think it was the steak biscuit. so crisp and it all just has such a good feel, a good smell to it. I can smell that. I can smell the, uh, the spicy mustard some too now. And Hardy's has all kind of biscuits. The country fried steak biscuit which I'm having now. Which by the way is is breaded steak. It's a breaded steak fritter on the made for scratch biscuits, which by the way is trademark. They have the bacon egg and, and cheese biscuits, bacon biscuit, which is what I always liked. Um, chicken biscuit. Don't forget the chicken biscuit. The there's like an, an egg biscuit and an omelet biscuit or something, ham biscuit. So, and I mentioned the the smoked sausage biscuit. I was so cold this morning and so hungry. Wiping my hands. Mm -hmm. The steak biscuit was my least favorite. I liked best the the bacon, and then get, I guess maybe the ham and the sausage. It's been a long time since I tried a steak biscuit from Hardee's. It was delicious.
Where did the Hardy's biscuit come from? There was a gentleman, I think he was still alive last year, named named Bowie. Not Bowie, not Bowie. Mayo Mayo Bodie. Mm -hmm. Body or Bodie. S E M A Y O. I wonder if that stood for mayonnaise, because he was in the fast food business. In the mid seventies, someone in the, in the store in the in the uh, Hardee's invited him to go for a ride somewhere out in the country and they stopped at this old this old white house and the people in the house they were selling these biscuits you get it with ham or sausage so Mr. Bodie had the idea of introducing it to his restaurants which were in Virginia Beach, Virginia they had a chain of Hardee's over there and they became popular. But the Hardy's corporate management didn't come around to the idea for a while. And the argument was that we are, we're, we're a burger place, we're not a biscuit place. But luckily that changed. I, I thought the biscuits were invented in Atlanta at a Hardee's, and maybe that maybe it was, maybe they are. Because Hardee's used to have like a little place setting, and it talked about the biscuits, and I thought it said that it was invented in Atlanta. I mean, these biscuits are good just by themselves with nothing in them. Hmm. Or maybe some butter or jelly. That's about it. tuning in. I appreciate your viewing and I'll talk to you later.